Healthcare, and as it were today, article reading for the uh, media speaks. If you were ever going to support this show, uh, now would be the time to do it because uh, this is the Christelle theme song today. Yes, I had to get a job. I took a job as a writer. And I have been, uh, again, the Christelle theme song. I have been going out here and um, writing articles for just about everyone. Um, and uh, all jokes aside from the way I started the show, something, uh, something important came up. And I wrote about Pizzagate. Now, I'm not at liberty to say who it is that gave me the rejection letter that I'm about to read that shows just how much the media is afraid of this story. But I will say that this is the first rejection letter I got with an actual reason on it. The other ones didn't even reply. Now, I'm a writer with a bit of a following on Twitter, not very large, but those who are engaged with it. It's kind of a new site. I only started it at the end of the summer. Those who are engaged with it very frequently uh, will use me for writing jobs and writing tasks or whatever. Nobody wanted the story when I put it up on Twitter because everyone is terrified of Pizzagate. I did go ahead, and I, as you can see here, let me go to uh, screen share. Uh, well, I guess I don't have screen share. I'm, I'm going to uh, change, change into my actual account here. You'll find that I got a strike on my account from YouTube. Well, not a strike, but they're saying that I can't monetize the video because the video breaks community guidelines. Now, for those of you that watched the last video, if you haven't, go ahead and scroll back to it. If you have it, and many people didn't because it was coming off of the holiday, um, some of these get hundreds of hits, some get thousands, they all get shared all over the place, <clears throat> but it's sometimes very hard for me to tell exactly how well a particular video did unless it did badly. And not many people have watched this, but you're going to find it very interesting to see what YouTube did to it as we're talking about media. Who is afraid of the Pizzagate topic? Here we go. Uh, as you can see here, that is uh, it's loading up here, my friends. If it's ever loading up here, is uh, under review. That gold star right there. That that's not it. That's a gold dollar sign. That's not a good thing. That gold dollar sign that I'm highlighting right there is in fact saying that the article was under review just because the name Pizzagate was in the title. Now let me ask you something. Those of you that read it or listened to it. I was careful not to accuse anybody of anything at all. As a matter of fact, let's remember that Michael Jackson was accused of everything in the court of public opinion when he was, uh, his name was used in questions regarding child molestation. He was found innocent, and I don't remember the media rushing to apologize to him. Now, because it's Podesta and it's some high-ranking people on the Lolita Express, people like Bill Clinton, because there's even questions being asked, we're supposed to not ask them as journalists and as reporters and commentators, and if we do, then we're going to be blacklisted? Is that the way it's going to be? Okay? I, I took the email off of this. Don't want to lose my situation, as they say in Scrooge. But I took the email off of this. I am going to read this article. Don't panic. I promised you I would and I will. I took the email address information off of this because I don't want to be putting their email out here. But here is a rejection letter that I got. I copied it. The X's I've put in to copy the, uh, to uh, delete the personal information of the sender. Sorry, unfortunately, your news, pe the, P the Pizzagate emails leaked by WikiLeaks area creating a lot of questions. That's the name of the article. Has been rejected by our proofreaders, and they added comments. This article is based on debunked conspiracy theory. Look at that. Our news, again, blanked out, is for factual news. Ooh, a stab, and does not allow such topics. Signed, the editorial staff of this establishment. Now, isn't that interesting? So I replied back, Podesta has not acknowledged any of this lie. Or, I should say, had not addressed any of this. Lie is a bad word. He has not addressed any of this 
in written form, on TV, in newspapers, make it nowhere. Okay, now if somebody accused you of these kinds of things, what would you do? I know what I'd do. I'd be slandering. I mean, I'd be suing for slander and libel. So I'm going to keep my promise. You tell me, was I fair? Because let's remember, Podesta may be an innocent man when it comes to child molestation. We know he's into some creepy things, like uh, um, uh, spirit cleansing, but you know, you don't accuse somebody of something like child molestation either. I understand the hesitation of newspapers and media outlets to address this. But if it's done tastefully, it needs to be addressed. Especially considering what we've already learned from within the WikiLeaks file and any connection that could possibly exist between them and Jimmy Savile. And for those of you that don't know, Jimmy Savile was an incredibly funny man from England who ended up being a terrible person. And uh, some of the people that are on the Podesta links, I believe, the WikiLeaks links, I believe are tied to uh, when Savile was alive. And uh, that's not good. So, I'm keeping with the promise. Oh, and shout out to InfoWars. I also, I also offered this article to InfoWars. They didn't take it, but they have been covering Pizzagate. So, I don't think they were afraid of it. Thank you, Rob Dew, for accepting my, uh, my, uh, my request. But, again, I'm not going to talk trash about InfoWars. Shout out to InfoWars because they have been covering it. The rest of you have been a bunch of cowards. So, I'm going to do this. Are you watching this? Do you have a blog that's popular? I will give this to you. Tell me that you want it. The first person that says that they will publish it, I will give it to them free. I'm that angry. As promised, in keeping with my word, I'm going to read to you the article that all of the media would not publish. Pizzagate. A look at the pizza guilt by association and what it all could mean. By yours truly, Samuel Earl Angie. During the end of the election campaign, some very alarming information was leaked from WikiLeaks. It seems to show John Podesta and various people within the elite establishment using code words to refer to various child sexual abuse practices that it seems that they wish to engage in. Many in the media are backing off from talking about the issues addressed within the leaks because of the possibility of libel and slander cases. Therefore, it should be noted that any such talk and any such talk should and must be of a questioning nature. With that in mind, we look at some of the things that make these kinds of questions come up. As you can hear, I was not liable or slanderous, nor do I become so. Pizzagate and those who won't deny it. Perhaps the creepiest and most uncomfortable fact about the debate thus far has been the fact that Podesta, to whom much of the leak was about, has not publicly come out against the accusation. While it is true that if guilty he has every right in the world, in America, to say nothing whatsoever, and equally true that if innocent, he has the same right to not address what he may consider mind rot and conspiracy. But who among the population would not rush to make such statements proclaiming their innocence? Would not the average man or woman be utterly incensed and furious over such an accusation as child rape and molestation? In this case, the band Bride was quite right when they said silence is madness around the world. After all, according to the New York Times, the owner of the Comet Ping Pong Pizza has come out saying that he in no way abuses children. While he could be lying, we have no proof to base such an accusation on, and at this point, at least his question has been addressed. What about this hasn't been fair so far, friends? I go on. Pizzagate terms used in odd ways. <clears throat> the reasons that the Pizzagate potential scandal are prone to make one skin crawl is because the common words like hot dog and pasta that are used are done so in ways that make no sense. This is often the kind of thing that brings down large drug deals. The wrong person will text something like, looking forward to the sunshine piano plane, which may seem like a clever code. However, such things are a red flag for investigators, not because it conveys any logic, but because it does not. It is very clear that the text would not be about sun nor pianos. 
These kinds of obscure wording patterns are used again and again in these emails when discussing such foods as these and more. Another odd fact that Podesta and or crew should address is that of, sadly, my space legend, Maddie. For those of you who don't know, I wrote, Maddie is an adorable girl whose face melted the hearts of those on the then popular MySpace platform. In fact, Maddie was seemingly everyone's top friend in an effort to locate the poor child and prevent her from being abused, potentially. And again, I was one of the people at the time, I like MySpace much more than any platform that exists today, back the way it used to be when you could make your own page. I remember those days. I was getting involved in helping Ron Paul on his first Republican run in uh, 07, 08, 06, when we were trying to get the name built for him. So I, I remember those times completely, and her and Ron Paul were my top friends. And the odd fact that Podesta and, uh, I'm sorry, uh, many people tried, tied to the elite, were said to be the only people capable of knowing about, if cap not capable of doing more, during the allotted time that Maddie was known to have been taken. Some people suggest that the elite would never choose such a high-profile girl, but it must be remembered that she was not high-profile until after she was abducted, not before. She became famous because she was abducted, not the other way around. So those who do not consider this are thinking in a flawed manner. And again, I'm going to pause here before I get to the last paragraph. What about that isn't fair? What about that doesn't make sense, friends? Let's move on. Pizza guilt by association for Podesta. The jury of public opinion is on top of this due to the circle of people around Podesta as seen via a police sketch that looks exactly like Anthony Weiner. Bill Clinton and most of those who often flew with the Lolita Express were, where child abuse is proven to have been involved are also mentioned. What's even more damning is that InfoWars ran a piece from a man who was thrown out of the pizza shop that's Cosmos, ping pong pizza, for using social media instead of having his question answered. Does that sound innocent? To add to the questions, why does a pizza shop owner have hidden doors in his shop? Also, how does a pizza shop owner become close personal friends with so many high-ranking politicians and insiders? Remember, friends, he's, he, his, he's on a daily emailing friendship list with some of the highest-ranking people in the country. I write, put together, it is clear why questions remain until answers are given. Now let me ask you something, friends. Is there anything there that sounds offensive to you? Because I think that sounds like a pretty fair article. So I'll tell you what. If you want the article and you post articles, do me a favor <clears throat> and let me know that you want it and I'll give it to you free. I have kept my promise. I have put my cojones out there, and I have read to you every single word that the media did not want you to hear. I have articles all over the internet. Go ahead and look them up. Not one of them would touch this one. And I think that that speaks volumes, friends. I really do. You've been listening to The Correct Views. This is Sam I. B. DeGangie signing off. Reminding you that you can donate at the correct views at hotmail.com. You can do that through PayPal, and all the money you give to me goes towards a better show. And that's what I want to bring all of you. You can also donate at uh, Patreon, which uh, is linked under me. Uh, good night, friends. God bless.